Unit One. My new school. Page six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen, and read. Oh, someone's knocking at the door. Hi, V. You're early. Fom's having breakfast. Hi, Mrs. Wynn. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm excited about our first day at school. <laughs> I see. Please come in. Hi, Fom. Are you ready? Yes. Just a minute. Oh, I have a new friend. This is We. Hi, Zwi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Fom. Nice to meet you too. I live here now. I go to the same school as you. That's good. School will be great. You'll see. Hmm. Your school bag looks heavy. Yes, it is. I have new notebooks, a new calculator, and new pens. And you're wearing the new uniforms, we. You look smart. Thanks, Fum. Let me put on my uniform too. Then we can go. Sure, Fum. Unit one, page seven. Getting started. Activity two. Listen, and read the following poem. Get up, Nam. Get up, Nam. You're going back to school. Your friends are going back to school too. The new school year starts today. You've got nice shoes. You've got new pens. Your friends are on their way. Unit one, page seven. Getting started. Activity three. Match the words with the school things. Then listen and repeat. A. Bicycle. B. Pencil sharpener. C. Calculator. D. Rubber. E. Compass. F. Notebook. G. Ruler. H. Textbook. I. Pencil case. J. School bag. Unit one. Page eight. A closer look. One. Activity one. Listen and repeat the words. Physics. Exercises. English. Vocabulary. History. Football. Homework. Lessons. Judo. Music. School lunch. Science. Unit one, page eight. A closer look. One. 
Activity five. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the sounds o and a. One. O. Judo. Going. Homework. Open. Two. A. Brother. Monday. Mother. Month. Unit one. Page eight. A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen to the words and put them into two groups. Some. Road. Don't. Hope. Monday. Homework. Month. Come. Post. One. Unit one. Page eight. A closer look. One. Activity seven. Listen and repeat. Underline the sounds o and a you hear. One. They are going to open a new library. Two. I'm coming home from school. Three. His brother eats lunch in the school canteen. Four. The new school year starts next month. Five. My brother is doing his homework. Six. He goes to the judo club every Sunday. Unit one. Page thirteen. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Susie is a student at PLC Sydney. Listen and choose the correct answers. Hi, my name's Susie Brewer. I'm eleven years old. I'm now in Grade Six at PLC Sydney. I like it here, as I like to study in a girls' school. The teachers at my school are nice. And very helpful. And my favourite teacher is Mrs. Susan McKeith. She teaches us maths. I have three hours to study Vietnamese in the afternoon. Usually, I do my homework at break time. We wear our uniform every day, but today we aren't, as we're going to have an outing to Taronga Zoo. Unit one, page ten. A closer look to activity five. Listen to part of the conversation from getting started again. Then find and underline the present continuous form. Oh, someone's knocking at the door. Hi V, you're early. 
Fom's having breakfast. Unit 1. Page 14. Looking back. Activity 3. Listen. Then write down the words you hear in the correct places. Play music. Do homework. Study new words. Have a new book. Do morning exercise. Play badminton. Have English lessons. Study geography. Play sports. Unit 2. My home. Page 16. Getting started. Activity 1. Listen and read. Wow! That room looks so big, Nick. I can see there's a TV behind you. Yes, I'm in the living room. Can you see my dog, Luke? He's sitting on the sofa. Yes, I can. He looks happy. <laughs> he is. Your room looks nice too. Where do you live, me? I live in a townhouse. It's near the city centre and it's very noisy. How about you? Where do you live? I live in a country house. Who do you live with? I live with my father, mother and younger brother. We are moving to an apartment next month. Are you? Yes, we are. My aunt lives near there and I can play with my cousin, Fee. Are there many rooms in your new apartment? Yes, there are. There's a living room, three bedrooms, a kitchen and two bathrooms. The kitchen is next to the living room. Nick! Oh, that's my mum. I'd better go. It's dinner time. Bye. See you soon. Unit 2. Page 18. A closer look 1. Activity 3. Listen and repeat the words. Can you add any more words to the list? Living room. Lamp. Sofa, picture, table, bedroom, bed, lamp, picture, chest of drawers, Kitchen, fridge, cupboard, cooker, table, dishwasher, chair, bathroom. Bath, sink, toilet, hall, picture, unit two, page eighteen. 
A closer look. One. Activity five. Listen, and repeat the words. Lamps. Posters. Sinks. Fridges. Tables. Wardrobes. Toilets. Beds. Unit two. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen again, and put the words in the correct column. Lamps. Posters. Sinks. Fridges. Tables. Wardrobes. Toilets. Beds. Unit two. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Activity eight. Listen to the conversation, and repeat. Pay attention to z, s, and is at the end of the words. Then practice the conversation with a partner. Mum, are you home? Yes, honey. I'm in the kitchen. I've bought these new dishes and chopsticks. They're beautiful, Mum. Where did you buy them? In the department store near our house. There are a lot of interesting things for the home there. We need some pictures for the living room, Mum. Do they have pictures in the store? No, they don't. But there are some ceiling lights. We are buying two for the new apartment this week. We also need two new vases, Mum. That's true. Let's go to the store this weekend. Unit two, page twenty-three. Skills two. Activity one. Nick's parents are describing their room at the hotel. Listen. And draw the furniture in the correct place. Nick staying in the tiger room. We are staying in the bear room. There's a big bear near the door. The bear is actually a fireplace. In the far corner, there is a window. The shelves are right in front of it. Next to the shelves is a big bed. There's a wardrobe next to the bed. Oh, there are also two other windows in the room. In front of these windows, there's a sofa, a table. And two stools. We like the room because it's comfortable. Unit three, my friends. Page twenty-six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen, and read. This is a great idea, Zoom. I love picnics. Me too, Foot. I think Lucas likes them too. 
<laughs> Lucas is so friendly. Can you pass me the biscuits, please? Yes, sure. Thank you. What are you reading for? Fourteen. It's my favourite magazine. Oh, look. It's my. And she's with someone. Oh, who's that? She has glasses and she has long black hair. I don't know. They're coming over. Hi, Fook. Hi, Zung. This is my friend Chow. Hi, Hi Chow. Chow. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Would you like to sit down? We have lots of food. Oh, sorry. We can't. It's time to go home. This evening, we are working on our school project. Sounds great. I'm going to the judo club with my brother. How about you, Foot? I'm visiting my grandma and grandpa. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye. Unit 3, page 27. Getting started. Activity 3. Choose the adjectives in the box to complete the sentences. Look for the highlighted words. Listen, check and repeat the words. 1. Mina is very creative. She likes to draw pictures. She always has lots of new ideas. 2. 2 is kind. He likes to help his friends. 3. Minduk is confident. He isn't shy. He likes to meet new people. 4. Kim is very talkative. She's always on the phone, chatting to friends. 5. Mai is clever. She understands things quickly and easily. Unit 3 Page 28 A Closer Look 1 Activity 1 Match the words with the pictures on the cover page of 14 magazine. Listen, check and repeat the words. Arm Ears Elbow Eyes Face Foot Fur Glasses Hand Head Knee Leg Mouth Neck Nose Tail Tooth Cheek Finger Shoulders Unit 3 Page 28 A Closer Look 1 
Activity three. Listen and repeat. Picnic. Biscuits. Blonde. Black. Big. Patient. Unit three. Page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Activity four. Listen, and circle the words you hear. One. We often play badminton in the afternoon. Two. Are you singing in that band? Three. Her ponytail is so cute. Four. He has a brown nose. Five. Let's have another picnic this weekend. Six. She's got such a pretty daughter. Unit three. Page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Activity five. Listen. Then practice the chant. Notice the rhythm. We're having a picnic. We're having a picnic. Fun, fun, fun. We're bringing some biscuits. We're bringing some biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. We're playing together. We're playing together. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Unit three, page twenty-nine. A closer look. One. Activity seven. Foot, Zung, and Mai. Are talking about their best friends. Listen and match. Hi, my name's Fook. My best friend has a round face and short hair. He isn't very tall, but he is kind and funny. I like him because he often makes me laugh. Hello, I'm Zoom. My best friend is Lucas. He has a brown nose. He is friendly. I like him because he's always beside me. Hi, my name's Mai. My best friend has short, curly hair. She is kind. She writes poems for me, and she always listens to my stories. Unit three, page twenty-nine. A closer look. One. Activity eight. What are the missing words? Write is or has. Listen again, and check your answers. My best friend has a round face and short hair. He isn't very tall, but he is kind and funny. I like him because he often makes me laugh. My best friend is Lucas. He has a brown nose. He is friendly. I like him because he's always beside me. My best friend has short, curly hair. She is kind. She writes poems for me, and she always listens to my stories. Unit three, page thirty-three. Skills two, listening. Activity one. What do you see 
in the photos. Choose the words in the box to fill in the table. Then listen and check. A. Hiking. B. Taking part in a cooking competition. C. Skiing. D. Visiting a milk farm. E. Taking part in an art workshop. F. Riding a bike. G. Taking a public speaking class. H. Playing beach volleyball. I. Playing traditional games. Unit three, page thirty three. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen to Mr. Lee, the camp leader, talking on the phone with Fup's parents. What are they doing on day two and day three at the camp? So, how was the first day? It was good. Today we had a bike ride to the mountains, and visited a Zhao people village. Interesting. How about tomorrow? Are you going somewhere? Oh yes. Tomorrow morning we're having a treasure hunt. In the afternoon, we're visiting a milk farm to see how milk and butter are made. After that, we're opening the public speaking class. The kids are talking about their favourite country in the world. That's fun. And on the third day, oh, that's something special. There's the World Foods Festival at the camp in the morning, when the kids compete for prizes. That's our kids cook contest. They're cooking their own unique dish, and in the afternoon we're having a big party by the pool. Really, sounds great. Unit three, page twenty-nine. A closer look too. Activity one. Listen again. To part of the conversation. I don't know. They're coming over. Hi, Fook. Hi, Zung. This is my friend Zhao. Hi, Hi Zhao. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Would you like to sit down? We have lots of food. Oh, sorry. We can't. It's time to go home. This evening, we are working on our school project. Sounds great. I'm going to the judo club with my brother. How about you, Foot? I'm visiting my grandma and grandpa. Unit four, my neighbourhood. Page thirty-eight. Getting started. Exercise one. Listen and read. Wow, we're in Hoi An. I'm so excited. Me too. Yes, it's so historic. So, where shall we go first? Let's go to Chua Kao. Well, the map says Tan Ki House is nearer. Shall we go there first? Okay, okay sure. sure. Shall we go by bicycle? 
No. Let's walk there. Hmm. Okay. First cross the road, turn right, and then go straight. Okay. Let's go. Wait. What's up, Fom? Where are we now? I think we're lost. Oh no! Look, there's a girl. Let's ask her. Excuse me, we're lost. Can you tell us the way to Tan Ki House? Tan Ki House. Keep straight, then turn right. But it's quicker to turn right here, then turn left. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Nick, let's hurry. Unit four. Page thirty-nine. Getting started. Activity three. Match the places below with the pictures. Then listen, check, and repeat the words. One. E. Square. Two. H. Palace. Three. F. Cathedral. Four. C. Memorial. Five. G. Art gallery. Six. A. Statue. Seven. B. Railway station. Eight. D. Temple. Unit four. Page forty. A closer look. One. Activity one. Fill in each blank with one word from the box. Listen, check, and repeat the words. One. Kua La is a fantastic beach. Two. I love it here. Everything I want is only five minutes away. It's so convenient. Three. Life in the countryside is boring. There aren't many things to do there. Four. The air in the area is polluted with smoke from factories. Five. Hoi An is a historic city with a lot of old houses, shops. Buildings and theatres, etc. Six. The street is very narrow with a lot of traffic, so we can't move fast. Seven. Now there are many new shops near here, so the streets are busy and noisy during the day. Unit four, page forty, a closer look. One. Activity four. Listen, and repeat the words. Pay attention to the sounds e and i. Exciting. Cheap. Historic. Sleepy. Expensive. Convenient. Peaceful. Police. Noisy. Friendly. Now, in pairs, put the words in the correct column. Unit four. Page forty. A closer look. One. 
Activity five. Listen to the sentences and circle the words you hear. One. Tommy is living there. Two. Shall we heat the oil first? Three. This aeroplane seats a hundred people. Four. There's a sheep over there. Five. Jimmy is finding some tins now. Six. Peter bought a mill last week. Seven. Some teams are coming in. Eight. It is a fish and chip shop. Unit four, page forty. A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen, and practice the chant. Notice the sounds e and i. My neighbourhood. My city is very busy. There are lots of buildings growing. The people here are funny. It's a lovely place to live in. My village is very pretty. There are lots of places to see. The people here are friendly. It's a fantastic place to be. Unit four, page forty-three. Communication. Activity one. Nick is listening to an audio guide to Hoi An. Listen, and fill in the gaps. Welcome to Hoi An. Hoi An is famous for its historic buildings, shops, pagodas, and houses. They're older than in other cities in Vietnam. The streets are very narrow, so it is more convenient to walk there. Okay, let's start our tour. First, go to Quan Cong Temple. To get there, walk straight for five minutes. The temple is on your left. Second, go to the Museum of Sa Huyn Culture. Take the second left. Turn right. And it's on your right. Then, have lunch at Cafe Ninety Six. Its cow lao and ban vac are very good. Turn left, and take the second turning on your right. Finally, go to Hua Nhop Workshop to buy presents for your friends. Turn left, then turn right. The workshop is next to Tan Ki House. Unit four, page forty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to the conversation between a stranger and Zui's dad. Fill in the blanks with the words you hear. Excuse me, where is the supermarket? Go to the end of this street. It's on your right. And where is the lower secondary school? It's in Lezuan Street. Take the second right, and it's on your left. Great. Where can I have some coffee? 
Quinn Cafe in Trang Quang Zhu Street is a good one. How can I get there? First turn left, then turn right. Go straight. It's on your left. How about an art gallery? First, take the third left, then go to the end of Leloy Street, and it's on your right. Unit four, page forty-five. Skills two, listening. Activity two. Listen to the conversation again. Choose the correct places from the list below. Write the correct letters A to F on the map. Excuse me, where is the supermarket? Go to the end of this street. It's on your right. And where is the lower secondary school? It's in Lezuan Street. Take the second right, and it's on your left. Great. Where can I have some coffee? Quinn Cafe in Trang Quang Zhu Street is a good one. How can I get there? First turn left, then turn right. Go straight. It's on your left. How about an art gallery? First take the third left, then go to the end of Leloy Street, and it's on your right. Unit five, Natural Wonders of the World. Page forty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Hello, welcome to Geography Club. Sorry, can I come in? I went to the wrong room. No problem. We're just starting now. Today, I'm going to introduce some natural wonders of the world to you. Great! What's that in the first picture? It looks incredible. Yes. Is it a red mountain? Well, that's Ayers Rock. It's in the middle of Australia. Local people call it Uluru. Can you spell that, please? Sure. It's U. L U R U. Thank you. It's not the highest mountain in Australia, but it's the most beautiful. Its colour changes at different times of the day. People think it's best in the evening when it is red. I want to visit Ayers Rock one day. Picture two is Halong Bay, isn't it? Well done, Nick. That's right. What else do you know? It's in Vietnam, of course. <laughs> yes, it is. There are many islands there. This picture shows Tuan Chau. It's one of the largest islands. How about picture three? Unit five, page forty-nine. Getting started. Activity two. Listen, and repeat the following words. One. Mountain. Two. River. Three. Waterfall. Four. Forest. Five. Cave. Six. Desert. Seven. Lake. Eight. Beach. Nine. Island. Ten. Valley. Unit five. Page fifty. 
A closer look. One. Activity four. Listen, and number the words you hear. Best. Boat. Coast. Lost. Boot. Desert. Plaster. Forest. Unit five. Page fifty. A closer look. One. Activity five. Listen again and repeat the words. Best. Boat. Coast. Lost. Boot. Desert. Plaster. Forest. Unit five, page fifty. A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the bold typed parts of the words. One. Swimming in the sea in summer is best. Two. Ha Long Bay has the nicest scenery in Vietnam. Three. The Amazon rainforest is in Brazil. Four. One day I want to see Ayers Rock. Five. The Sahara. Is the hottest desert in the world. Six. I want to explore the coast by boat. Unit five, page fifty-one. A closer look. Two. Activity two. Listen to V giving the answers to the quiz. Check your guesses. Okay, everyone. Number one, Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. That's true. Number two, Barbe Lake is the largest lake in Vietnam. That's also true. Number three, Niagara Falls is the highest waterfall in the world. That is true. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's false. Next, number four, Chaco Beach is the longest beach in Vietnam. Is true. Now number five, the Amazon is the widest river in the world. That is true, but the longest river is the Nile. Finally, the Sahara is the hottest desert in the world. That is true too. Unit five, page fifty-five, skills two, listening, activity one. Nick's family are in the travel agents. They want to go on holiday. They are choosing a place from the brochure above. Which place do they choose? We have some great deals. I recommend Halong Bay. Hue, Moine, or Nachang. Wow, I love the beach. Can we go to Moine, Mum? Well, let's think, Nick. Can I see a picture of the hotel in Moine? Yes, here you are. Which is cheaper, Moine or Halong Bay? Moine is cheaper, but I think Halong Bay is more interesting. Yes, you're right. I think I want to go to Halong Bay. It's better than Moine. Oh, yes, it's rainy in Moine at this time of year. 
you must take umbrellas and waterproof coats. OK. Let's put Harlong Bay, please. Unit 5. Page 55. Skills 2. Activity 2. Listen again and answer the following questions. We have some great deals. I recommend Halon Bay, Hue, Moine, or Nachang. Wow, I love the beach. Can we go to Moine, Mum? Well, let's think, Nick. Can I see a picture of the hotel in Moine? Yes, here you are. Which is cheaper, Moine or Halong Bay? Moine is cheaper, but I think Halong Bay is more interesting. Yes, you're right. I think I want to go to Halong Bay. It's better than Moon Air. Oh. Yes, it's rainy in Moon Air at this time of year. You must take umbrellas and waterproof coats. OK. Let's put Halong Bay, please. Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 58. Getting started. Activity 1. Listen and read. Welcome back to Around the World in 30 Minutes. Thanks again, Sananta, for telling us about New Year celebrations in Thailand. Next, we have Fong from Vietnam. Hi, Fong. Hi. Your New Year is called Tet, isn't it? That's right. The Vietnamese celebrate Tet at different times each year, don't they? Yes. This year we will celebrate Tet at the end of January. What should people do to celebrate Tet? A lot. It's the busiest time of the year. What, for example? You should make your house look beautiful at Tet, so you should clean and decorate it. You should also buy flowers and plants, but you shouldn't buy fireworks. Do you travel during Tet? Not often. Tet is a time for family gatherings. Yes, and do you eat a lot? Yes. Eating great food is the best thing about Tet. Oh, and getting lucky money. <laughs> great. Thank you, Fong. Coming up, we have Yamiko from Japan. Unit 6. Page 60. A Closer Look 1. Activity 1. Listen and repeat the words in the box. A. Wish. B. Fireworks. C. Furniture. D. Present. E. Shopping. F. Tree. G. Flower. H. Relative. I. Pagoda. J. Calendar. K. Special food. Unit 6. Page 60. A Closer Look 1. Activity 5. Listen and repeat the words. Celebrate. School. Special. She. Shopping. Spring.
blossoms. Should. Summer. Wish. Rice. Rubbish. Which words have the sound sh, and which words have the sound s? Listen again, and write them in the appropriate columns. Unit six, page sixty-one. A closer look one. Activity six. Listen to the sentences. And tick which has sh, and which has s. One. We come home every summer. Two. We should leave early. Three. I will make a wish. Four. I'm second in my class. Five. My mother goes shopping every day. Six. This is a small garden. Seven. Spring is coming. Unit six, page sixty-one. A closer look one, activity seven. Listen and practice reading the short poem. Pay attention to the sounds sh and s. Spring is coming, Tet is coming. She sells peach blossoms. Her cheeks shine. Her eyes smile. Her smile is shy. She sells peach blossoms. Unit six, page sixty-five, skills two. Activity one: Mai and her mother are going shopping for Tet. Listen and tick the things they will buy. Mum, shall we buy a branch of peach blossoms? Yes, dear. We'll buy a beautiful one. And how many banchung shall we buy? We won't buy banchung, dear. This year we'll make them at home. Wow. I like cooking bangchung. I will help you with that. Yes, sure. And I'll buy some new clothes for you and your brother. Thank you, Mum. Shall we buy something for Dad too? Yes, we'll buy a new tie for him. Should we buy something for Grandma and Grandpa? Yes, of course, dear. We will get them some sweets and and some fruit. No, dear. We shouldn't buy fruit. It's too early. We should wait until the thirtieth. Yeah, Mum. And don't forget to buy some chocolate biscuits for us. No, I won't, dear. I will buy you the most delicious biscuits. Unit six, page sixty-five. Skills two, activity two. Listen again, and write the names of the things they will buy for the people in column A. Mum, shall we buy a branch of peach blossoms? Yes, dear. We'll buy a beautiful one. And how many banchung shall we buy? We won't buy banchung, dear. This year we'll make them at home. Wow, I like cooking banchung. 
I will help you with that. Yes, sure. And I'll buy some new clothes for you and your brother. Thank you, Mum. Shall we buy something for Dad too? Yes, we'll buy a new tie for him. Should we buy something for Grandma and Grandpa? Yes, of course, dear. We will get them some sweets and and some fruit. No, dear, we shouldn't buy fruit. It's too early. We should wait until the thirtieth. Yeah, Mum, and don't forget to buy some chocolate biscuits for us. No, I won't, dear. I will buy you the most delicious biscuits. Unit six, page sixty-six. Looking back, activity four. Tom is asking Fom what children in Vietnam should or shouldn't do at Tet. Listen and fill in the summary with should or shouldn't. Fom, should children in Vietnam visit their grandparents? Yes, they should, and they should wish them good health. Do they help decorate their house? Of course, they should. Do they eat much? They do, but they shouldn't, and they shouldn't ask for lucky money either. Should they make a wish? They should, I think.